The circuit you see here is a simple plasma ball circuit. It's used to make a plasma globe uh, out of a normal clear incandescent light bulb. And this circuit's uh, very similar uh, to the plasma speaker circuit that uh, I've also made. Um, this is a 555 timer and it oscillates at about 5 kilohertz and that 5 kilohertz signal drives the IRF640 MOSFET and that in turn drives an induction coil. And there's the induction coil. This is induction coil I got for about 5 bucks off of eBay. And this induction coil produces a high voltage spark and that then is in contact with this uh, large uh, 40 watt, this is the package it came in, 40 watt Sylvania incandescent light bulb. So when I turn on the power supply, what happens is that you hear this high pitched whine and you'll see a small spark that is coming out of there and there's the uh, bulb itself and you can see that there are these filaments glowing. This looks much more impressive in the dark. Uh, so here it is in the dark and in the dark you'll see that there's also this neon light that is uh, next to it. So there's there are the neon lights. The neon lights are actually still in their original packaging and but the uh, electrostatic discharge goes right through it and likewise if I take this uh, fluorescent light bulb, you notice the fluorescent light bulb glows. I'm just holding this in my hand and uh, it glows quite well. If I move my hand you can't quite see my finger but you can see the shadow of my finger. When I touch the package of the neon bulb, there's a nice little spark that goes through it and there's actually again no electrical connection here at all. This is a fairly simple and straightforward circuit to build. It's uh, quite simple. Um, you should not attempt to do this unless you are very familiar with and experienced with high voltage electricity. This can be quite dangerous because high voltage can be quite serious. This uh, little tiny spark here can set fires. You can get electrocuted by this. Um, one needs to be very careful with high voltage. One thing to note is the spark gap actually is fairly important. If you get rid of the spark gap, if you actually make a direct connection, you'll notice that not very much happens at all. But if you have a spark gap in here, then that acts like a tiny capacitor and that helps uh, the sparks here form in this plasma globe. That is the plasma globe circuit. Uh, there it is and thank you for watching.